Hello everyone, I am Divarani Babar, working as an assistant professor at AISUSMS IOIT Pune. Today we will discuss what is RAD model. Now, RAD is what? Rapid Application Development Model. It is a linear sequential software development process model that provides development cycle using an element based construction approach. If the requirements are well understood and described and the project scope is constrained, then the RAD process enables a development team to create a fully functional system. So, Rapid application development is a concept that products can be developed faster and of higher quality. It provides gathering requirements using workshops or focus groups, prototyping and early user testing of designs, the reuse of software components, a schedule that refers design improvements to the next product version, less formality in reviews and other team communication. Now, there are various phases of RAD model. See the diagram here. First phase is business modeling. Second is data modeling. Third one is process modeling. Fourth one is application generation. And fifth one is testing and turnover. Now we will discuss these phases one by one. First one is business modeling. In this phase, the information flow among business functions. It is defined by answering questions like what data drives the business processes, what data is generated, who generates it, where does the information go, who processes it and so on. Second phase is data modeling. In this phase, the data collected from business modeling is refined into a set of data objects that are needed to support the business the attributes that means character of each and every entity are identified and the relation between these data objects is defined in the third phase that is process modeling the information object defined in the data modeling phase are transformed to achieve the data flow necessary to implement a business function. Processing descriptions are created for adding, modifying, deleting or retrieving a data object. Fourth phase is about application generation. In this phase, automated tools are used to facilitate construction of the software In the fifth phase, that is testing and turnover, many of the programming components have already been tested since RAD emphasized reuse. This reduces the overall testing time, but the new part must be tested and all interfaces must be fully exercised. Now, when to use this RAD model? When the system should need to create the project that modularizes in a short span time, that means two to three months. When the requirements are well known, in that case RAD model used. When the technical risk is limited. When there is a necessity to make a system which modularized in two to three months of period. It should be used only if the budget allows the use of automatic code generating tools. In these cases, RAD model is used. There are some advantages of RAD model. First one is, this model is flexible for change. 
in this model changes are adaptable each phase in rad brings highest priority functionality to the customer it reduced development time it increases the reusability of features there are some disadvantages of rad model it required highly skilled designers all application is not compatible with rad for smaller projects we cannot use the rad model on the high technical risk it's not suitable for rad model user involvement required these are the disadvantages of rad model